it's a very powerful machine and I absolutely love it, but I want to show you the pros and the cons if you ever decide to buy one of these things. Let me go down here and look up the, um, the specs and the model number. Give me a second. Let me open that up and it's uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, somewhere over here. Hang on a second, I'll show you guys here. I gotta find it right there. And then we're gonna go ba -ba -ba -ba, social media, magnetic marketing, tool, service laptop, here we go. And ba -ba -ba -ba, what else do I need to show you guys here? I'm trying to find the right stuff, hang on. I'll be right, okay. Um, that's not what I wanted to show you. I got this one page that shows you all the specs. Not, okay, we can leave this one open. And what else? I can leave this one open also. And what else? I know I have more information that would be really valuable for you guys. Uh, Window Pro, that's fine. That's why I already have this one open. Give me one second here. I got, I have to give you guys some really good details. Anyway, here's the model number. It's um, Microsoft Surface Laptop Model 1769. And this particular model has an i7, 16 gigs, uh, 512 hard drive, Win Pro, and it's a color silver. Uh, touch screen, loudspeakers, so on and so forth. But um, let me show you guys like the things that I like and dislike about this laptop. Uh, one thing, one thing that I dislike about it. Let me turn on, turn off some lights. Hold on, because it's glaring a little. Only thing I dislike about this laptop, it doesn't have any USB-C. All it has is um, USB-A, and it has the mini display and a 3.5 millimeter. What I did is I purchased this um, hub, and it has the three attachments over here that plug into there. Hang on a second, let me... See if I can show you more photos. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come over here. All right, that's what it looks like. You see, you have the mini display, 3.5 millimeter, and a USB A. Okay. And on the other side, it has 3.5. So basically, it converts those three the USB A, 3.5 millimeter, and your, I mean, no, um, mini display and 3.5 millimeter into. 3.5 jack, a micro SD, SD card, and two USBs, and um, HDMI, which is pretty cool. And it does have also this, just in case you want to go um, hardwired, your um, internet cable can go right in here. And that's kind of nice to have because a laptop doesn't really have many ports to it. The only way you can convert this to USB-C and have all these great options, you would have to order. Let me show you guys. I have to find the photo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's actually a hub that comes with it or not comes with it. Something you have to order separate, which looks like this. Hang on a second. This is not what I wanted to show you. Mm, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is it? I got to go online and look it up. Bear with me a minute, guys. Uh, just in case you wanted to um, get the model number and then some information off of the uh, power supply. It's right there, okay? All right, let me come over here. And I'm going to open up a new link. Let me close all that. I'm going to open up a new one. And I'm going to go right here. And we're going to go uh, surface. Dock. Two. Okay, one thing I want to mention to you guys. First of all, the price on the dock two. 
make sure you get the Doc 2 if you order it because this is Surface Doc 1 and Surface Doc 2. Make sure you get the two. And uh, through Microsoft, it's 260 bucks, so it's a little pricey. But the way it connects, it's pretty interesting. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys over here uh, that a power supply connects. It's magnetic. All you got to do is basically just bring it close and, and automatically connect, which is pretty nice. But the way the service dock connect to this is, it, you see this connector right here? There's another connector that comes out of the dock. See that? It looks exactly like that, but it has more pins. You see how this one has only like couple? It has two and two here or three and three, whatever that is. The other one has pins going all the way across it. What you do, you just kind of connect it right here. Uh, notice the LED um, um, turns on every time you charge your power supply. But the way the dock works is it has a cord similar to the one that I just showed you guys. And it's um, it converts that port into... Give me a second here. So that's what it looks like. It has a power supply that plugs into the dock, which charges your laptop. And the dock has a, a cord that comes out and hooks up into your laptop right here. So what it's doing, it's charging and it's also converting everything here for you. Okay. So let me show you guys some photos. So that's what's really cool about the dock too. It has... I don't know if you guys could see that with the, oh, here you go. Now you can see. So you got USB-C here, USB-C here. You got USB-C, USB-C, um, USB-A 3.5. And the power, uh, the charger plugs into here. And it's enough to charge the laptop and um, gives you all these extra ports. That's the only drawback that I don't like about the Surface, but it's 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 a very powerful machine, and it's um, so far the performance was incredible. I'm really really happy with it. Let me show you some more photos. So you see, like right here, right here, that's where it plugs in. It plugs in right here, and it comes out, and you just plug in everything right in here. And this dock has a um, its own power supply, so it's charging the laptop and it's allowing you to have all these extra ports. Maybe, um, I don't know why this one doesn't have a USB-C, which really is something that aggravates me a lot. And that's that's what you're looking at basically right here. Let me see if I can get more photos or ba -ba -ba -ba, that's what it looks like. Oh, and I forgot this laptop is also touch screen, so you can order any color that you want. You see these pens here, they're rechargeable. They're pretty nice if you want to order those. Let me see if I can click on one. No. Um, you got um, over here, you have different options. You have the Microsoft USB-C travel hub. And this one gives you, um, it converts the, um, the mini. What is that photo that I had? Let me, give me a second here. It converts um, ba -ba -ba, this one here. Basically, you see that mini display port here. It allows it it, it uh, converts it to HDMI, or not HDMI. It converts it to a VGA. If you guys can see right here, that's a VGA. And uh, sorry about the shaky hands. Let me go close these curtains. I'm in the blind, so you guys can see. We can eliminate that glare. Okay, close this. That's better. And, uh, oh yeah, much better. <clears throat> so this, um, this little USB-C travel hub converts the mini display port right here into VGA. And also you get a USB-C. The only drawback about these, I believe this one doesn't come with a power supply and this one doesn't come with a power supply. So what it's doing is actually it'll drain your laptop. So you have to unplug this little connector and plug it back in. That's why you need the US, you need the Surface Dock 2 because the Surface Dock 2 has the, it comes with its own charger. So basically you're charging and you're using the ports at the same time. So you don't have to do a lot of unplugging and plugging and all that. 
other stuff. What else do I want to discuss? Let me come over here and pull up the specs on that laptop this way. It gives you guys an idea on what it comes with. This laptop, when it first was sold by um, Microsoft, it was around close to $2,000 with the specs. So as you can see here, it comes. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Yeah, don't forget, this is a touchscreen. Um, it has the um, Microsoft Windows Pro. Um, what else? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Surface laptop, uh, Intel i7. Okay, you see right here. Um, what else? Come down here, it comes with 16 gigs of RAM, which is plenty for me. I do a lot of multitasking. I haven't had any problem. This thing has been running pretty smooth. And I haven't heard the um, CPU or the yeah, CPU fan even turn on once. So I'm pretty impressed with it. And also, if you come down here, hard drive, memories right here. Where's the hard drive? Component. Um, where are we at? Um, storage, uh, drivers, size of the hard drive. Okay. What well, right here, it shows it a little smaller, but it's actually 512. It's really, really powerful, uh, powerful laptop. I have no problem with it whatsoever. It's really attractive and it's, as you can see, it's really sleek. I love the design. The only thing that I don't like about this laptop is not having Hold on a second, guys. It's got that magnet thing, which I need to use both hands to get it to work. The only thing I, I'm really upset about this laptop is, is the ports. It makes it really difficult. I purchased this thing. This, this particular hub, by the way, it's, um, it's an aftermarket. It's not made by... Um, <clears throat> let me turn on some lights. This hub... Okay, I hope you guys can see it. Let me back up a little more. Can you see it? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. But anyway, you got your 3.5. Let me grab a pen here. 3.5 millimeter um, SD card, another SD card, USB, USB, HDMI, and you got your, um, let me lift this up. There you go, that's better. You got your um, network cable that goes back here, HDMI. USB, USB, um, two SD cards, the, the micro and the full size and the 3.5. And another thing too, I like to mention, it's really cool. Um, this hub comes with a little tiny LED, which is pretty cool. So if I would shut this laptop right now, oh, right now it's not going to shut down because when you close it, it'll go in standby, but it's not going to actually shut down. So you can see the LED after a while, it'll go dim. Let me come back here. We have to wait for it to go in standby. So that little LED will go dimmer, okay? It will at one point, I guess it's taking a minute. Okay, it's gonna make me out to be a liar. <laughs> it did it last time, but that's, Usually this will dim after when this thing goes in standby, which is a real nice indication. This one has no, um, the laptop has <clears throat> no LEDs whatsoever. So it's like, if you look on here, there's nothing, no LEDs whatsoever. So it's, you can't tell when it's in standby or not. But if I were to shut it down right now, watch this guys, go shut down. It's going to shut down in a minute. Pay attention to the LED here. That's when you know it's completely shut off. Let me go ahead and turn it off anyway. Give it a second here. You see like the LED on the second monitor here will go off and this little LED will go off also. Give it a second here. Come on, there it goes. You see how the LED went off here? That's how you know the laptop's completely in a shut in the shutdown mode right now and by the way the power button is right here if you ever get a surface just press it once and it boots up very very fast i really love this model and it's quiet that's the most important thing because i'm constantly multitasking and that i had 
was super slow. Yeah, this thing shuts down really fast and it boots up real fast. So that's that. What else? I know there's a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about. Oh, uh, by the way, if you guys want to download this app, it's free. It's really, really powerful. It gives you all your it gives you all your specs on your um I'll show you where you can get this app here in a second. It's a powerful I really love this app. Close that, open this up. And uh, you can add, come over here. No, hold on a second. Let me come over here. Oops, I didn't want to do that. That's what the icon looks like, by the way. It's down here. You see that? Just click on that once. And that's that's what it is. It's a great app, and it's powerful. It really it does a great job. I have to remember. Here you go. I see what, okay. So, um that's what the app looks like. I mean, that's what the prompt looks like. And that's the icon right here. So make sure you guys get the right one. I'll give you here a direct link in a second. Hit yes. And I think the app opens up. And I think if you come down here, was it here or some, I just got the app a couple of days ago. So I really don't know all the, where all the buttons are. Yeah, I think if you come down here, let me move that. Would it let me move it over? Yep, it will. Good. Okay. So now you got this little um, display panel that shows you all the um, option that you can do. But what's really cool about it over here, it gives you your CPU speed. You see the CPU right here. It's an i7 core right up top. And it tells you, um, it gives you the motherboard right here. See where it says um, Microsoft Corporation Surface Laptop. And it gives you the um, chipset, which is pretty nice to have right here. Okay. And um, also uh, shows you the size of the RAM right here, 16 gigs. And um, sorry about that. And right here, shows you the what speed your ram this one is a uh, ddr3 see that right here ddr3 but the thing runs super fast and here's your bias version and it tells you what type it is uf uefi which is the one one that you need to be on anyway for fast boot um, it also shows you your GPU, which is your graphic card. You have a one gig, which is pretty large. That's plenty good. And it gives you the model number here. It says Intel Iris Plus graphic uh, 640, blah, 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 blah. You got all the information you need right here. And um, memory is one gig. What else? I know there was an option in here that I wanted to show you guys. I don't remember whether was here somewhere else basically you see this control panel here i went in there and i made some changes oh it's down here wait a second go down to settings see at the bottom go down to settings and uh over here you can do voltages you can do clocks you can do uh show columns you can go in here you see how it's adding columns over there on the left average you can get so much information with this little app it's pretty cool um so basically over here it shows you current minimum maximum and average so your cpu it's using this voltages here um it shows you your bus um system clock i mean this is very very detailed it even shows you the GPU, shows you all the information that you need to know about the GPU, which is really, really nice. Um, it takes some getting used to using this software. It's not, it's not that, uh, it, because it can do so much, you have to kind of like get used to it. Go over here. Okay, cool. So now, now you guys got all the specs on this laptop and you know the model number. Um, 
Last time when I when I went online and I put down the model number, which is 17. Hang on a second here. Let me look up the model number one more time. I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to go ba -ba -ba -ba, right here. Uh, I'm doing this on the other monitor, guys. So just give me a second. Model number, model number. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Is it this one? Is it that one? Is it this one? None of these. Okay, maybe down here. Model number. Here we go. Model number. See that? That's the bottom of the laptop. I took a photo of it. 1769. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to put that in the browser. I'm going to put in Surface. As you are. 1769. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right here. So when you put that in, so basically here's here's that the exact model, but this one is an i5. See that? This one says i5, but the model that I have is an i7, but it's a 1769. Oh, here's what I wanted to say. You see, that's called Microsoft Surface Laptop 4. So that's what that model is. If you have a 1769, is that what it was? Yeah, if you have a 1769 like I do here, that means you have Laptop 4, Microsoft Laptop 4. Okay. But this one here, as you can see, it has an i5, which is slower than mine. It has a six, uh, an 8 gigs RAM, and it has a 256 gig of hard drive and that model went for 1300 bucks the one that i have is exactly double the specs so that one went for i don't know 17 1800 bucks it's a really really powerful smooth uh running model i'm very impressed with it i'm gonna have to <clears throat> show you guys a quick um Laptop for Surface S U R F A C Laptop Four. There it is. I'm going to try to find a video, hopefully one that's made by Microsoft and uh, Surface Pro. Surface Pro Laptop. I don't know why Microsoft doesn't have one. You would think they would do. But this one here, you see how this one is a Surface Laptop, Microsoft Full Review. So I guess this was done by, uh, it was built 21. I didn't look at the build date. I should have done that, right? But yeah, it's, it's a pretty powerful laptop. The only thing I don't like about it is the, um, it's the, what do you call it? The ports. Ports is really, has been a big issue for me. Let me go to Microsoft and then I'm going to go to Microsoft website and see if I can find you guys. Microsoft.com. Okay. Um, let me see if I can search something here. Support. And let's go laptop four. see if that would bring it up. Next time I'll make a video, I'll use um, a tripod. This time I'm just kind of winging it. Sorry about that. Laptop. Surface. Uh, laptop. Four. Features. Laptop four features. Okay. There it is. That's pretty good. I didn't even know this page was available. Okay, so you got, according to the specs over here, number one is Windows Hello Camera. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, when you put this thing up, it's pretty sweet. <clears throat> it has the uh, face recognition. 
So you don't have to kind of type. It's like an iPhone, basically. Instead of having to type in your information every single time, you just walk up to it. When you boot up the laptop, as soon as you open up the, the screen, the camera identifies you and lets you in. So you don't have to type in your password every time, which I find it very convenient. Anyway, so if you come down here, you go back to the specs. You can see over here it says window, hello, camera, uh, front-facing camera, studio mic. Uh, I guess the mic's built up here, right on this area there. You got your camera here and your mic is here and uh, Surface Connect port. That's what they call that on the side. Surface Connect port, it has its own port. Oh, one thing I want to show you guys also is the power supply. Power supply is right here. It's small but mighty. It does a great job. I think this thing, um, I don't know if you guys can read the specs, but it's high current, high voltage, and it's really, really nice. It charges really quick. And um, I'm going to grab a quarter. This way you guys can see what it looks like compared to a quarter. So it's pretty small, right? There it is. Let me see if I can zoom in on some of the specs. All right. And uh, it does a good job as far as charging. It does have a fast charging. <clears throat> okay. So this is a good link to have over here. It has all the, it has all the specs on different models. So this is, I'm going to save this here because it's a good link to have. I'm going to go click here and I'm going to, hang on a second, guys. I'm going to set this down. Okay, done. I want to go back to this and do a little bit more reading on this. So that's what we have here. Let me come back here and see what other specs. Okay, so here we go. You got your USB-A port. You see that right here? And you got USB-C port. Oh, it says USB-C, which mine doesn't have. You see where it says 2? Mine has the um, mini display. And then over here it says headphone jack. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this laptop. My model doesn't have the, <coughs> the USB-C. It has the... Um, so number two here, it's USB-C. On mine, number two is mini display port, which is a big problem for me. I don't like that. Anyway, it comes, oh, another thing too, I wanted to mention that's really, really important that you guys are gonna find useful is, uh, bah, 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 if I go down here, give me a second, if I go to this, <coughs> sorry about that. You see how it's got Windows, up, when you go into Windows Update and you try to upgrade to uh, Windows 7, or what am I talking about? Windows <laughs> Windows 11. Let me clean that lens a little bit. When you go to upgrade to Windows 11, for some reason, this model won't support it. Uh, check PC Health. See if you come down here and it tells you that uh, eligibility, ba -da 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 -da. you got to click on that one link and it would check to see if your laptop is ready for Windows 11 or not. And mine says it doesn't support this uh, CPU, even though I have an i7, it's super fast, but it still will not let me do specs and requirement, PC health app. Okay, so if you come down here and you click on that PC health app right here. Click on that, and then it's going to download and check. So it's going to download it right here. Just go ahead and click on it. And then over here, it's going to ask you to agree. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Install. It takes a second to install. It's pretty quick. Launch. There it is. So, oh, okay. You would come down here and hit check now. Okay, you see where it says 
this processor isn't, let me come over here. This processor isn't currently support, supported by Windows 11. Uh, more about supported CPUs. So you have to come down here and learn more and it'll give you more specs. So basically I have an i7 and it's 256 or um, 2.5 gigahertz, pretty fast processor, but it, Microsoft still says that the CPU isn't supported, which is uh, another major bummer. I really was hoping to have Windows 11 on this model here, but according to these guys, I'm not eligible. So that's something really important I want to share with you guys. What else? Um, this pretty much covers it. I think I covered everything there is. But your main thing that you want to do, okay, so Windows 11 is, is one negative thing that we can do. USB-C is not available. Um, you have to have the dock port, I mean the dock, uh, dock 2. Did I bring that up here? I guess there's two different versions of the um, Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 because the one that they showed in the specs, I mean, in the, in the Microsoft support page has the USB-C and the one that I have here doesn't have the USB-C. So I guess there's two, diff two different versions. Maybe they got a lot of complaints about not having the USB-C and they eliminated the micro, um, micro display and added the USB-C. I would like to um, perhaps see a, um, a video from Microsoft that actually shows you a breakdown on check for upgrades. We don't want to do that. Close this. Um, what else? I was hoping it closed this. I don't, you guys already, I already told you that Windows 10 is not eligible or 11. So anyway, so that's, that's one of the main drawback, uh, laptop. It comes with, it tells you right here, Windows Home Edition, Windows 10 Pro Edition. And that's what I have. I have the Pro Edition on my laptop, uh, Surface Pro. Let me, um, I'm going to play some of this. I'm going to play some of the specs. Hold on, guys. I'm going to um, Microsoft. Where is it? I don't see it. Uh, what is it? I think it's called Surface. We have to go down to the S. Okay, Surface. Surface. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Surface, there it is. See that little icon right there? That's what you get when you download it from the app store. It's pretty nice. And that's what the app looks like. You give it a second, let it load. And um, that's what the app looks like. It's really, really nice. Make sure as soon as you purchase a Microsoft product, it should come with it automatically. But if it doesn't, make sure you download this app. Uh, you come down here and it gives you all the information you need for your laptop. And... Um, you can check your warranty. You can check um, view health and safety information, view regulatory information, <clears throat> um, health and support. You can do that right here. You can update Surface, uh, check for update, troubleshoot basic basic um, issues, browse uh, support, chat with support. You can do all that from the surface app um what else let's check for updates see if that would work okay check for updates i guess it just brings you back to, into your um windows update app it doesn't have its own i thought it had it, its own app but it doesn't i don't think yeah I'm, i've already done all the updates uh, again remember guys this this one here this particular model doesn't have the um, it it's, doesn't have the ability to update to Windows 11 because the CPU isn't supported. I don't know what that means. It's it's a, it's a big disappointment. But that's what I'm dealing with here. Uh, what else can I tell you guys about this? Overall, if you're a multitasker and you want something, oh, uh, the weight too, guys. It's super super light. I don't know, maybe four pounds or something. I'm not. Maybe I'm exaggerating. I don't. Know. Two pounds. What am I talking about? 
two pounds or maybe less. It's quite, quite light. And I do have the window of uh, the Microsoft 365, which is you have to have these days. You can't work function without it. What else? Um, Windows, Surface, Xbox, um, support. I don't know why they don't have any supporting videos. You would think they would have videos to, let's, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna copy this. Surface laptop features, I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go into um, YouTube. Hopefully they'll have something there that's made by Microsoft. Okay. Microsoft laptop. That's an ad, that's an ad. Laptop for, Surface laptop for. It's a really, really nice model. I'm super impressed with it. One thing I am gonna do is order the new, um, I'm gonna order the Microsoft keyboard, the full size because I do need the numeric pad. And I'm also, I'm gonna order the, I think it's called a magic mouse, which is really nice. Oh, here we go. Here's that uh, hub thing that I told you guys about. I'm just gonna. If you're working at. Mute that real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick picture on what it looks like. Let me skip this ad. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward, yeah. Oh, this model doesn't work really well. I mean, doesn't, that's not what I meant to say. This thing that gentleman's showing doesn't work right because it doesn't have the, um, it works on USB-C only. That's the one that you need right there. See this, that's a full size here that has all the USB-C and everything you need. Extremely powerful design by Microsoft. I'm very impressed. Let me see here. I'm trying to get to a nice. Photo. Maybe, maybe I can do a doc too. Let's try to do that. Microsoft laptop. And let's do doc too. Dock station to Okay. All right, so that's basically what it looks like. That's perfect right here. Let me make this larger. That's perfect. Okay, so what you got is your power goes the power cord goes right in here and that charges your laptop. Uh, network cable here, um, Ethernet cable goes in here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack goes in here, uh, two USB-Cs, that's a 3.2, which is the newest one, and you got the USB-A, the th the, the, those are 3.2 also, which is really, really fast. Um, and that charger that comes with this particular dock, dock, dock 2, right here, um, Microsoft Surface Dock 2. This one comes with, um, um, I don't know, like a 20 watts charger, which is really powerful that can handle all the, all the stuff that you plug into here. It can ch power up all your equipment along with, um, along with the laptop at the same time. Okay. So that's, that's what it looks like. It would plug right in here. There you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have two additional USB-C USB on the back. There you go. I don't know why one is shorter than the other. Maybe one is the older one. One is the newer one. But you have two USB-Cs here. Yeah. Pretty powerful. I love that. I love the speed. The speed is what really attract me to it. Microsoft Mechanics. Let me grab this link here because I want to say, hang on, guys, just one second.
Let me uh, see if this is actually Microsoft. Come over here. Nice connects to it with certificate based. Con All right, let me make sure that this is Microsoft. Okay. USB C 3.2 ports in the back drive external displays. You can use them to drive two 4K displays at 60 Hz or 5K at 30 Hz. Then, on the side, you can attach a Kenzin. The side here is just to lock it. I'm just going to let this video run for a second just to give you guys a good view on what this dock looks like. That's the, oh, that's the power supply. I got it. Power supply connection to the dock. And hold on. I think, what did he say? The power supply is, let me come back here. Hold on a second, guys. I'll pause it when the specs comes up. Okay, 199 watts. That's what I was trying to say. It's really high wattage. So it can power up all your equipment along with the laptop. And, um, it has the proprietary connector that only connect to Microsoft to uh, uh, Microsoft um, product. See that? It has the magnet automatically connect. It's real nice. Okay, that gives you guys an idea. I'm trying to think if there's any other things that I left out that would be important to you guys. Um, just in case you guys buy any Microsoft product, make sure you get the um, Microsoft Surface Dock 2 because it's, it's a must have. It gives you all these extra extensions and all the um, additional ports that you're gonna need, especially if you're a multitasker, you're running a bunch of USB external, um, external, um, external USB drives and so on and so forth. <clears throat> but overall, I'd, I'd give it, um, I'd give it eight and a half, eight and a half out of uh, 10, just for the simple reason it, it lacks the USB-C and it also lacks um, the ability to upgrade to Windows um, 11, which is, I'm pretty upset about. Oh, this is Microsoft, here you go. Let me see here, Microsoft. Come back here. Okay, this is Microsoft. Okay, so we're good. Let me save that link. Hang on, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to save that over here. And I'm going to let you guys watch this short video. It's like a minute long or so. Oops, what did I do? Hit the wrong button. Close this. Rewind that. Unmute, play, here we go. It's definitely something you're going to fall in love with. If you ever get it, you'll, you'll, you'll see how powerful this thing is. Let me go ahead and... I want to show you something that is really... Okay. Let me come back here. I'm going to subscribe. I want to see if they have any additional video under the Microsoft um, website that would actually help. Let me come back here and search. And I'm going to go search for laptop for laptop for see if that brings up anything. There you go.
<clears throat> it's a beautiful model. I love everything about it. I highly recommend it. It reminds me of the Mac. Apple product. Oh, yeah, the touchscreen is a really nice feature to have, too. That's the exact model that I have here. Same color, too. Let me go back and see if there's any additional videos about, yeah. Over here, it talks about the Microsoft Dock. Over here, it says the dial. This is for people that usually do art. Um, that's Surface Pro 6. Uh, that's the Go. Um, hold on a second. Let me see. I think the latest one they have now is the Surface Laptop. Um, Surface Laptop. Um, what do you call it? Um, eight. Let's do Surface Laptop. See what it brings up. Okay. Surface Laptop 3, Go, Surface, um, Laptop 4, uh, Surface Pro, Microsoft. Um, bah, 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 bah. Hold on a second. I'm going to set this down again, guys. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm going to see. I just want to search, see what the latest laptop is. What? But come on, what is the latest Surface laptop? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Keep putting the phone down. I told you I'm not organized here today. Control A, Control. Control C. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Surface laptop. Is that the latest one? I guess this is the latest one. What? They don't have any laptops after this? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay. Just to give you guys a, a general idea what this price is. I'm on the, I'm on the Microsoft website right now. Let's go ahead and do the configuring part. So if you come down, you have different options over here at configuration. You have uh, 13.5 with eight and 128 gigs of RAM and 128 of memory. That's um, 7.99. You got 13.5 inch with eight gigs, 256, eight gigs of RAM, 256 um, hard drive. That's 850. And then if you jump to 13.5, i5 with 8 gig and 512, that's 1,000. And if you come down here, 13.5, i5, 16 gigs, 512, that's 1,200. And if you come down to the model that I have here, it's 13.5 inch Intel Core i7, 16 gig, 512. This one is $1,400. That's the model that I have here. So that just give you guys an idea what what these things sell for. Okay. How do I get rid of this? No thanks. And then go next. $1,400. That's what this model would go for. Okay. It would be right here, $1,399. And that's 13.5 um, uh, Platinum uh, Intel Core i7, 16 gigs RAM. And 512 SSD that sells for from uh, Microsoft that would go for $13.99. What else? I think I covered pretty much everything you guys need to know about this. Um, I do love the touch screen feature. That's really, really nice. I do love uh, the fast camera, the face ID. Um, it's really nice as soon as you open up the cover. It... Um, um, face recognition takes place and lets you write in. Uh, the charger is really nice over here. It's magnetized. I'm just going to go through over a couple of features. That's what it looks like compared to a quarter. It's pretty tiny. Uh, this thing just peels right off. Oops, sorry, I didn't do it on camera. 
So you just got a magnet right here. It just peels right off, real simple. So you never have to worry about breaking anything. It just has a magnet. Comes right off, similar to the Apple setup. Has a little LED over here that shows you what's going on. Um, what else? Power buttons over here. Um, it does have back lit uh, keyboard, which is really important feature. Make sure you guys keep that in mind. It, um, uh, what else, what else? Uh, a touch pad, it's really, really nice. It runs real smooth. You can do the two finger if you wanna, um, I don't know if you guys know that feature or not. You do, if you wanna right click, you just do the two fingers and that gives you the right click. Um, this part here, I don't like at all because it has the uh, mini display connector in the middle, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'm glad they have this little hub over here that converts it to um, uh, HDMI. Let me see if I can get a good picture of this. I'm gonna have to move my cup of coffee. Hold on guys. So, Okay, you can see it here nice and clear, and that's perfect. You got your 3.5 micro, um, full SD, USB, USB, HDMI, and you got your, on this side here, on this side here, you have your uh, Ethernet cable, plugs right in if you want to go hardwired. And one thing I always wondered, if it's possible to convert this USB-A into USB-C, I'm, I'm, I'd like to, I'm going to do a little research and see if I can actually find a device that would come up, will upgrade this from you from an A to C. I'm going to go online and do a little bit of research and I'll add that on there for you guys. It's a really nice feature. I love having USB C because it's a lot faster. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, this thing weighs like. Let me go ahead and shut it down real quick here. Do a shutdown. Shuts down real, real fast. I'm impressed with the speed. We have to look for the LED over here. You really wouldn't know when it shuts off, if, it shut, if it's completely shut off or not, unless you have that hub connected to the side on the left. All right, let's go ahead and let, yep, it's perfectly shut down. One thing, one thing I want to indicate too, like when it shuts down, this LED stays on. So this is not a good indicator whether it's on or off. But one thing I'm going to do is unplug this real quick. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to unplug this HDMI. I want to show you guys. Oh, what happened? Sorry. Okay. So here's what the HDMI, the um, USB hub looks like on the bottom. This stuff kind of, it sticks out, but you don't see it when it's sitting flat. You know what I mean? Everything's in sits real flat, but this thing's super thin. Like it's really, really thin and it's really light. I'm not sure exactly how much it weighs, but and here's the model, making the model of the mod of the laptop. On a scale of one to ten, I'll tell you what, this is very close to being a ten. I love the speed. I mean this thing is super, super fast. I'm impressed with it. But um I wish they would have kept the um, Um, USB-C on this model because USB-C is a must-have on any laptop if you really think about it. How could you do any business, like especially with the newer computers? I'm just waiting for this thing to boot up here. Give it a second, guys. Okay. Boom. Boot it up. You don't have to push any buttons. The face recognition works right away. And there she is. Works real, real fast. I forgot to connect... The HDMI, hang on a second. Oh, I forgot to do something. You know that app that I told you guys that I was gonna show you what you get from? I mean, the the, the um, monitoring app. It's really sweet app, hold on a second. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna close, here's, here's, here's the app. It's called um, Wi-Fi Win or something. What was it called? There you go, it's called H. Oops, I don't want to touch. I forgot it's touch screen. It's called HWIN. See right here? That's version 7.26. 
Yeah, but let me show you guys where to get this app from. It's really, really, you can install this on any device. It doesn't have to be Microsoft. Let me uh, switch back here. Go right here. Take one second, guys. I gotta come back here. Where is it? Surface Laptop. Okay, right there. Microsoft Surface Laptop Ads. Come back here. Um, everything. Hmm. I can't find it for some reason. But just remember, when 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 you go to search for it, here's the icon. Okay, it's right here. And um, the app looked like this. Just make sure you get the right one because there's a bunch of generic ones out there. They don't work very well. And you click right here. Oh, I know how I can get to the website. And here's the app, okay? But if you want to go to the website, I guess you could go. Hang on a second. Close this app. Close it. And it gives you every, every little detail you need to know about your laptop. Hardware, software. Anyway, so if you click here, you can go to show more details. Oh, not that one. Hit yes. There's a button on here that allows you to, oh, you go, go to download site. You see right there? I'm going to, well, you guys are not going to have that until, but here we go. That's the website. Okay. Make sure you go here when you download that. And if you come down here, it's going to give you a bunch of, um, ads and all that don't click on anything here's your here's your options you got your free download here you got local us make sure you can select local us on all these if you're in the states local okay but this one here uh that's an installer for windows 64 and 32 this one is installer for windows but this one is standalone which is really nice which means you can put on a jump drive and um um that's a portable, you see here, it's a portable package, which means you can put on a jump drive and install it on as many computers as you want. This one here, if you want to download it straight to your computer and use it. This one here, you can download the installer and, and keep it. Also, they have an option for, I don't know if anybody would need that, but they have a portable for DOS, and it gives you all the specs for your computer. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop at this point, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, tune in. Um um next week for more videos i appreciate you spending some time with me if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you got any uh, value out of this video make sure you share it and um if you have any questions at all please leave them below and i'll be more than happy to answer um but overall i highly recommend this model and i think it's a great investment have a wonderful day please don't forget to like subscribe and comment Bye bye